I'm going to teach you how to make a really cheap, if not free, maybe you have the stuff laying around the house already, a way to make a top tube pad such as one of these types, you know, um, that's one that's on my BMX, but today I'm going to make one for this bike. So, what we are going to need is for this particular frame, which is just a standard size tube, I went to Menards and get some one inch pipe insulation. Um, I think this was like two dollars for four of these big, I mean you can see how long those are, so you can make quite a few out of one pack. Um, but anyway, recommended would be this T-square or something straight, some kind of straight edge because you're going to have to cut material. Um, some spray adhesive. Um, I cut material with a razor knife. I don't know. I find it easier just with a razor knife and a straight edge like that instead of some scissors, but that's me. And then uh, just an old shirt, something. That's what this... Uh, this one was made out of, it was just an old Misfit shirt, obviously. Actually, here's the old t-shirt here from back when I made it. I just cut the back out of it, it was the logo off the back. But anyway, use whatever, you know. Alright, <clears throat> as you can see, my shirt piece is now cut out. Um. I wound up needing a piece that was 6 and 5 16 by 18 inches. Um, and that's going to fit onto that tube right there. Um, word of advice, you can see the seam in it. Later on when you're done, you're going to rip that apart. Um, but it's actually stuck together now. That'll actually make it easier for this application. Um, I don't have... A tripod because I've been slacking real bad. So I'm gonna see if I can line this up here. Yeah, sure, that'll work right now. Um, another tip. T-shirt material doesn't shred. This was a poor idea in uh, material choice because it unravels on the edges. Um, however, I'll just, I don't know. I guess if I was a professional ass like Taylor, I'd just fold these over and stitch them before I'm doing what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll go with the rustic look or I might trim them down later. Um, the only reason I'm so persistent on even using this material is because this was actually one of my grandfather's shirts and that was my boy and he's dead now so he's gonna ride around with me. Um, so let's start. Take your spray adhesive. Easy enough. And take the tube. Uh, let me move my bike real quick so I don't spray adhesive the tires. Okay. Um, the looks of it, this material is the same on both sides, but obviously you're going to want to spray on the back side of it, the side that's not going to be visible to the outside. All I'm going to do is hit this with a light mist. Just like spray paint. I'm sure, we've all used a can of spray paint. Too. You want to get it top to bottom, every little piece, because obviously you're going to want the shirt to stick to this. Let that dry for a few seconds. Ah, don't do that. your first side with the crease. 
And especially if you're using t-shirt material, it's very forgiving. Once you're lined up with your crease, just roll it. Keep it flat, keep it flush with the edges. Ugh. Mm, now you get yourself a yeah, here you might want to adjust stuff a little bit, but it's as simple as that. I'll get the bike back over here. Feel this down the center now. Slide new bike. Okay. And there you have it. Once that dries up completely, it'll actually uh, stiffen up a little bit and all that. Um, and that's it. Pretty easy. So I don't know if you guys want to leave some video responses of ones you made or whatever.